Hey everybody, it's Will, and welcome back to Hong Kong Cinema Appreciation Society. This is a really exciting day. Um, as you probably know if you watch the show, I'm a huge fan of John Woo. And what do we have here? We have a better tomorrow and a better tomorrow too box set of these films came out in 86 and 88 respectively and a better tomorrow is you know if you're a fan of uh, hong kong cinema history you probably already know this and i don't need to tell you this if you're not a better tomorrow is like ground zero for fucking badass hong kong heroic bloodshed action movies heroic bloodshed is like a genre within a genre basically hong kong thrillers are um you know this long story genre that go back to like 70s and stuff like that heroic bloodshed is the style that came out in the 80s where you have these heroic characters who are a lot of times like criminals with a strong sense of morality and they're really violent bloody movies with these crazy shootouts and stuff and so this really is like i mean you can find films like long arm of the law which kind of predated this i think that came out in 1984 and it's a great film you should go and see that hopefully we'll do an episode on that in the future but this is like the movie that that kicked everything off um it's almost like if you want to compare it to music you know like never mind the album by nirvana that just like set off the 90s like this is the film that set off all of this it made chow yun fat superstar like he had been a comedic actor before he had been in tv but this like made him one of the biggest action stars of all time and as you can see he's wearing a trench coat were it not for this film we would not have the matrix um trench coat and sunglasses like you can actually find statistics from hong kong of the sale of trench coats and sunglasses that before this film came out and after this film came out and the the i mean it started so many trends like fashion trends social trends cinematic trends it's just such a huge movie so this came out in 2001 and this is I, let me just double check here but i think this was anchor bay yeah so anchor bay released this as as best i understand it this is out of print but it's not hard to find so um I got this on, I think, eBay for like 15 bucks. You can buy it for like 20 to 30 now. Um, but it's not like one of these things that's out of control expensive because I think they, they printed a ton of them, so a lot of people have them. I'm going to pull the movies out here. Um, a Better Tomorrow 1 is, uh, it stars um, Tai Leung, maybe T Leung. Uh, I don't, like I said before on the show, I don't speak Chinese, so I don't actually know how you pronounce his name. But he was a big um, actor with the Shaw Brothers, so he was in like Have Sword Will Travel. He was in Avenging Eagle, which is my favorite, probably my favorite Shaw Brothers movie, along with maybe like Dragon Inn. I just love Avenging Eagle. It's such a great film because it has all of the great kind of narrative and character and like martial arts aspects of Shaw Brothers films, but it also has like phenomenal camera work. You should definitely check that movie out. Uh, so anyway, so uh, Chai and Fat, obviously, who's not the star of this film. A lot of people don't know that. If you haven't seen that, you wouldn't know that. Tai Lung is the star of the film and um he plays a character who goes to he's a criminal and he and chow yun fat are like high up in the criminal world and they go to taiwan for this deal and it goes wrong they get shot up one of the guys goes to prison chow yun fat injures himself and they're on the outs and um i think Wai say lee actually is also in this and he plays the guy who was their buddy who has now moved into a position of power and like lords over them and is kind of jackass to them and, and they gotta you know get their back so but it's a really great like character study one of the things that's great about john woo is he really makes films that are like pure cinema in as much as it's not like deus ex machina plot machinations i'm sure i've said this on the show before because this is the thing i talk about a lot when i talk about john woo but it really is like pure character driven cinema that is about the lives of these people it's not about a plot and it's just um it's a really great movie and it's not it's not just a stupid shoot 'em up like it's an emotional film about the lives of these characters so a better tomorrow 2 on the other hand is very much just a ridiculous shoot 'em up so um chow yun fat for reasons i won't tell you because i don't want to spoil a better tomorrow for you but chow yun fat plays the identical twin brother of the character that he plays in a better tomorrow one who is living in new york city and he, he either works at or he owns a Chinese restaurant. I'm forgetting because I haven't seen this movie in a couple months. But um, the shootouts in this movie are absolutely fucking insane. Like there's a, there's a shootout in a mansion at the end of this movie that is ridiculous. And there's one, there's one shot in that shootout where there's this huge explosion. And Chow Yun Fat goes like he starts like he's scared. And it, the explosion was so big and so much bigger than they had anticipated it being that it got closer to him than they thought it would. And like the fireball singed his hair. And so that's his actual reaction to that. Um, there's like a subplot in this movie about an older man who has dementia or something and like Chai and Fat's taking care of him and he's losing his mind and like it's a very strange movie. Um, 
But it's very good. It's definitely worth checking out if you're a big fan of John Woo. But it's it's not too similar to the first one. And from what I understand, the first one was such a huge hit that the the, the producers or the studio were just kind of like, yeah, we have to make another one. And John Woo would, like didn't want to surrender the control of that. So he did the second one. There's actually a third Better Tomorrow as well. That's it's called like Love and Death in Saigon, I think, which has to do with the Vietnam War and was directed, I think, by Choi Hawk. Choi Hark. Um, who was a producer on these films and is a good friend of John Woo's and is also a director. And um, I believe he did the Once Upon a Time in China films with Jet Li, which you'll be familiar with um, if you're a big fan of uh, Chinese and Hong Kong cinema. So, but this is the Anchor Bay uh, Better Tomorrow 1 and 2 box set that was released on DVD in 2001.